Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to Lesson 5, Working with Open Educational Resources. My name is Hui Ya Zhuang. I'm the Language Technology Specialist at Center for Language and Technology. Today we'll talk about what is Open Educational Resource and how to adapt in your course and what is Creative Commons License. What is OER? There are various definitions of OER if you Google it. In my mind, the best definition is this. OER are teaching, learning, and research resources that reside in the public domain or have been released under an intellectual property license that permit their free use and free purposing by others. Open educational resources include four courses, course materials, modules, textbooks, streaming videos, tests, software, and any other tools, materials, or techniques used to support access to knowledge. What are the benefits of OER? Well, there are several, depends on whom you ask. Let's talk about students. They can have access to high quality material. They can gain authentic and real life learning experiences through OER. They are better able to see or apply knowledge in a wider context. They will also have freedom to access language material and opportunities to learn without additional costs. Now let's talk about teachers. They can have access to quality peer review materials to enhance their curriculum and an opportunity to collaborate with peer globally. Now we will talk about where you can find OER for your PBLL project. First is the Creative Commons site. It provides different search options to find OER, for instance, video, image, web content, and audio. The Center for Open Educational Resource and Language Learning at the University of Texas, Austin, has materials listed under different languages. In the UCLA Language Material Project site, you can search OER by choosing language, material type, level, and audience. The Malo site provides peer review for OER. Users can also share their comments via the discussion. So what is Creative Commons License? Creative Commons License, also called CC License, was first released in 2002. It is a public license. A CC license is used when an author wants to give people the right to share, use, and build upon a work he created. CC license provides an author flexibility to share the work and protect those who use this material from concerns of copyright infringement, provided that they adhere to the requirement. On the left hand side, you can see four important icons in CC license. First one, attribution, means you have to credit to the original creator. Next one, share a like, means the new creation has to be under the same license. No derivatives, means you are not allowed to change or remix the content. Non-commercial, means no commercial use allowed. On the right hand side, you can see different type of CC license with a combination of these four icons. On the top one is CC0, public domain, no right reserve. This is the most open license. Following by attribution, attribution share alike, attribution non-derivatives, attribution non-commercial, attribution non-commercial share alike, and attribution non-commercial non-derivatives. It's important to understand that not every CC license can be combined with others. For example, an attribution non-commercial and an attribution share alike are not compatible. You cannot combine those two materials together. It is essential to understand the distinctions between different CC licenses. This will add in the proper selection of which OER to use and those to be set aside.